Welcome back to Friday Flows. Uh, I've been out of pocket the last few weeks, but I wanted to get in the last Friday of the year. Uh, so let's jump into it. Uh, over the last week, equities have barely beat out fixed income uh, for the overall flow mark. Um, a bit, a little bit lighter over this last couple of weeks with uh, shorter holiday weeks. Uh, but you can see over the last couple of months, uh, still big inflows from, from equities uh, compared to fixed income uh, investors uh, feeling that uh, get more bang for their buck on the uh, on the equity side versus the fixed income and the flows have, have matched that. Within, within these equities, where have they gone? Uh, primarily, they're going to North American uh, broad equities. Uh, Fixed income is still a, a bigger number, um, fixed, fixed income government, uh, but then global equities, um, also a, a large number coming in over the last week. Although you can see over the last day, some people were taking uh, some risk off the table, uh, pretty good chunk of that coming out yesterday. But again, over the last month, two months, uh, over the last month, almost a third of all the equities have gone into North American um, so really not surprising there, uh, kind of makes sense based on people kind of chasing risk, if you will. Jumping into the individual names over the last week, um, really no big numbers as far as uh, flows going into these funds. Again, I think it's a little bit of a lighter week, last week of the year, shorter week, uh, but they were still going into, um, into equities for the most part. Vanguard's total stock market fund. Vanguard's Value Fund, uh, Invesco's QQQ, again, always one to kind of keep an eye on of, of what people think of from a risk standpoint. For, for QQQ, that's not a big number on a week, um, but it is positive. And then TQ, uh, people really think that uh, QQQ is going to jump. Uh, this is one of the leverage funds, and that's a big number for a, a leverage fund. So people uh, really risking on with that uh, with that particular fund there. Uh, on the downside, SPY, again, the, the big daddy of them all, um, $5.4 billion coming out on the week, uh, even though that's a huge number for pretty much any ETF that's out in the world uh, for this particular one, that 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 kind of movement in a week, um, not too, too crazy. Um, jumping into some of these names, SPY is always a fun one to jump into. So over the last month, you can kind of see um, risk off. In coming out of November, cumulative down uh, almost $8 billion. Uh, but again, kind of risk on through the, the first part of the December. Uh, and then over the last week or so, really not huge numbers. Um, I think investors kind of can't figure out what they want to do, if they want to be off or on. Uh, finishing out the year, it looks like investors... Uh, moving to, to cash a little bit or moving out of uh, SPY anyway. Uh, so on the on the month down 4.6 billion again, that is a that could be a one day move within this fund. So I mean you can see just what this month there's a few <laughs> three, four, five billion dollar moves at a day. So really kind of flat for this fund uh, over the last month, which tends to be what happened when people don't know what's going on. Uh, QQQ, over the last month, again, uh, cumulative flows of negative $3.7 billion. Day-to-day, um, -day, though, you can see jumping in, jumping out. Um, you know, uh, December 15th, this is uh, when interest rates um, or inflation numbers came out a little bit lower. So people are jumping back in, jumping back out, trying to time those types of deals. Um, that's really what you see with a lot of these flows is, you know, based on different announcements, people jumping in, jumping out because they think they're, you're going to take advantage of uh, trying to time that, which rarely happens, actually. And then the last one I want to go through real just quickly is the ag. Um, you know, the this is kind of what a lot of people use of what is what a bond's actually done this year. And so, as you can see, year to date, um, this has moved toward the back in March. People were selling off quite a bit. Let, let's get out. Um, and then from essentially July on, people have been moving back into bonds. Uh, and essentially, you know, if you look, go back and look at the pricing, that makes sense. That was really bonds were at their lowest point. Um, and they really traded sideways till that point. And then uh, in October, um, really some, some bounce back in some of the returns, but for the year, 
um, you know, still cumulative uh, flows. Over the last month, really a, a buildup. I think if people kind of realize that maybe bonds had bottomed out and they start moving back in and it's been slow and steady uh, back into bonds over that course. And, and the bond pricing over that time period, you know, uh, really lays that out as well. So anyway, so those are a little up, update on flows over the last couple of weeks, over the last month, kind of give you an idea of what's happening out in the markets. I uh, hope this was informative and I hope you have a great year, a great new year, and we will see you.